so I thought I'd just do a really quick video showing what spares I take on a normal gravel ride. So this is not for races, just for just for general riding. So um, on the third bottle cage that I've got on my gravel bike, I'll keep this as a design caddy. Um, the G, incidentally, that's just because um, when I used to test a lot of bikes, had a few of these set up, and the, it's just G, just meant gravel bike. So I'll just lay all this out now and show you what I've got. So first thing, tube. This is a gravel. Well, is this the right size tube? 35 to 43 for the tyres I use. It's also got a, a valve, quite a long valve, which fits the wheels that I've got. Um, this one then, this is a road tube and a very lightweight, small road tube. Um, the only reason I carry this is for a case of a you know a major issue really. Um, on most rides, a double puncture would be would be rare and you know touch wood doesn't happen very often but that one will inflate to a bigger tire but you wouldn't want to be riding it for long so it's, it's a just in case type thing um got co2 canister 20 gram design one there and then the the head to go on and then a design chain tool um this what i would recommend is one that's got a chain a chain tool on it I, so this is a multi-tool, but one that's got a chain tool on it. Uh, it's got all the different Allen key sizes, T25, crosshead, lots of um, Allen key sizes. And then a little bag of tricks in here. So this is all smaller parts. So, tighter patches. They're oh, sorry, tube patches. That's obviously in case... Um, you put the tubes in, then you get another puncture. Tire patches, this will cut in half. If this was a mountain bike, I would leave it as a whole. For a gravel bike tire, then this half size is probably uh, sufficient. This is a, um, or these are um, worms, tire, tire worms. So on the bike, I have got the um, tubeless plug into the end of the handlebars. Also got then a uh, an adapter off the bottom, bottom uh, off the bottle cage, which holds the uh, another CO2 canister and a pump on the other side. Um, so these are the these are the plugs I've got. These are very small ones. This one is a three millimeters. This is quite a fat one. Um, the the tool I've got the the plug tool will only just fit this. It's not really designed for it. But that's that's why I've only got one just in case. I've got two valve extenders. These are you know, desperate times. If you have a puncture out there and you've got to borrow someone else's tube, um, it just means that these will you can borrow someone else's tube. The reason I've got two for two different types. One is to add on to a a tube which uh, doesn't have a re removable valve mm -hmm. core. So that's that one. And this one is uh, you remove the valve core and then the valve core goes in, um, screws in on the end of that. Um, so it just means that whatever tube you borrow, you can fit it. And then that is a valve core remover just to do that. And then last thing is a uh, 11 speed missing link. So um, should I have, should, should he snap a chain? You've just got a spare link to, to put it back on. Um, they do all go into this just about, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but um, then I carry a tiny little bit of paper just to stuff it in the top and that just stops it from making a noise, basically stop any rattling going on inside. Um, yeah, so that's all the tools I carry, it adds up to a bit of weight, actually I'll weigh it after this, I'll put the weight up on the screen. Uh, if I was in a race situation it would be different, I'd forgo some of the bits and pieces. So this is just for, for general riding and anything that's not too much of an expedition.